Welcome to The One Show's 50th anniversary. We're on day three of judging, which means we're getting into our final discussions. Discussions have been so engaging and so exciting that only a few judges have been able to sneak away to give us a hint of how the process is going. Based on the work that I've seen, uh, some of the trends I feel uh, are coming forward are, number one, still very much using technology as a way to advance creative ideas, obviously, and using those ideas as a way to do things that are purpose-driven, trying to find ways for technology to use uh, itself for more purpose-driven reasoning uh, and, and able to engage consumers. The entries that I like the most were the ones that were really specific to one platform and that really, you know, tailored their idea to this one specific platform. I think that was often like a very strong idea because they were really just using the specific features of each platform. Closer from iMacan, I really, really like this because there is some technology and, you know, it's super simple. I like when the, the idea is super simple and it's strong and everybody catch it and I'm jealous of this idea, to be honest. <laughs> There's still quite a few ideas that are very simple and they're effective because they're simple. So I'm happy to see that, that complexity is not a reason that we are, are looking at things as being a, a better idea. And sometimes it is really the strength of it being simple that makes it brilliant. I think it still comes down to wanting that response from your consumer. So making sure that you are uh, delivering direct marketing in a way where the invitation is clearly there and there's an opportunity for the brand to then hear back from or get a response back from their consumer is still very important. 10 minute ad from, um, from Hilton with Paris Hilton was uh, definitely one of my favorites because it was so different use of the platform um, because of course everything is such a fast paced environment in TikTok and to then like launch an ad which is 10 minute long and even get people to like watch the full 10 minutes. I think that's like really groundbreaking idea and it also fitted very well with their, the brand and what they're about, you know, like to make the stay as long as possible, like that you actually want to stay on the holiday. Um, so I think that one was definitely one that stood out. You see it in the case, there is a lot of cases about Ukraine and about soccer, <laughs> but I think it's, it's good because, you know, if we can help with advertising, it's a good, it's a good thing. So I'm happy to see all these cases because it shows that the industry cares about the people. It's been an amazing week. We're so excited to share who the winners of the gold pencil are. But you've got to come to Creative Week in May in New York City to find out.